Hi, I'm Ian Cook from Sony Professional Solutions of America. Welcome to the NAB15 uh, in-house XAVC workflow booth. Here we're highlighting support uh, in Avid and elsewhere for our new uh, 50 megabit long op variant of our successful XAVC codec. Uh, we're going to be showing you a little bit of everything from basic ingest to play out. Uh, we're going to start with uh, our very good friends at NL Tech. They are a longtime Sony partner and they have an automated, uh, an enterprise level automated ingest application uh, for XDCAM files and XAVC files that is also introducing support for the new long op codec. Rich? Thanks, Ian. My name's Rich Laws. I work for NL Technology in North Andover, Massachusetts. This year at NAB, we're demonstrating our Auto Ingest Direct software, which is an automation tool that allows you to bring Sony content directly into Avid's editing environment. We support file-based ingest from all of Sony's devices, including the optical disc reader, the S by S card reader, and Sony's DeX. This year, we've introduced support for Sony's XAVC Long Op Media. We've added a transcode step that allows you to bring the new content into the Avid environment as well. Thanks so much, Rich. Next up, we have XAVC Long Op support within the Avid Media Composer environment, which we're very proud of. And the nice thing about this is it is built on the legacy XDCAM workflow. It's no different from uh, how you've accessed your files in Avid before, if you're familiar with any Sony file-based workflow or really any file-based workflow. We AMA our XAVC long op files. We bring those into the, into the bin. We put them on the timeline. We edit. Additionally, one feature we're extremely happy to announce uh, within the Avid environment is that in the second half of 2015, we will be supporting a proxy to full res relink using our AVC proxies uh, from our wireless proxy recorders and our PXW camcorders. Over here we have Adobe Premiere Pro CC. What we're uh, demoing here is a full proxy to full res relink using our new AVC proxies created by the PXW X500 camcorders, the CBK WA100 proxy recorders. Um, what we can do in Premiere is very elegantly import those proxies, those AVC proxies, uh, which can be up to eight megabits per second, uh, 30p. We put those on the timeline. We do our assembly or our, our offline, if you want to call it that. And once we're ready, we have a very simple, uh, literally two or three click process, which allows you to conform those AVC proxies to the full res XAVC uh, long op or full res XAVC intra files. Next up, I'm going to show you something you may be a little bit familiar with already because it's not a new product, but it has some uh, really extraordinary banner features that we're happy to show off. Uh, this is the XDCAM station. This is in particular the PD2000 model or the XDS PD2000. It's a multi-channel hybrid server VTR product with uh, solid state internal storage, S by S slots for uh, S by S cards, and also an optical disc for XDCAM optical disc media, all the way on up to the 128 gig archival discs. What we're showing here in particular, because this is of course a workflow booth, is we are showing the frame chase capability. Uh, if you don't know what frame chase uh, capability refers to, it refers to the ability to manipulate files as they're being created. So a real banner feature of this deck that we're showing uh, within the Avid Media Composer environment and also here, standalone with a software control panel that we created, is the ability to manipulate files as they're being recorded. Uh, I press record and play on the deck. I am recording a feed, a satellite feed or a camera feed. I can then switch over to the playback channel. I can monitor that feed as it's coming in without interrupting it. And within 10 seconds, I can initiate an FTP copy of that clip, of that growing file to a server, to, uh, uh, I can AMA it into my Avid Media Composer bin. Once we have about 10 seconds of that file, we have a growing MXF file and that file can, uh, we can basically start editing with that file after that initial 10 seconds have passed. And what you see above it is the XDCAM station remote control panel. It's a very capable, very uh, elegant, intuitive little software control panel we wrote as part of our content browser uh, suite. That allows us to have in addition to a uh, simple uh, GUI control of the front panel, 
It enables us to uh, copy and move files, including growing files, between any registered destinations on the system. Very powerful product with a very cool feature that we're always happy to show. And like I said, we're going to be showing it with uh, in a standalone environment and uh, with the software control panel. And we're also demonstrating it with frame chase capability, frame chase editing capability within the Avid Media Composer. AMA link to the files. Within 10 seconds, that recording is available. You can drag that clip down to the timeline. You can refresh it in 10 second increments. A very, very, very powerful feature that we always get a lot of good feedback on. Always happy to have the XDCAM station in the booth. Moving on, here we have a, we're showing a couple of our decks, including a new addition to the family, which I'll get to in just a second. Uh, first, I want to highlight the uh, PMW 1000, which is our dual SPS Studio VTR. It uh, has a full complement of professional and legacy inputs on the back, XLR, SDI, analog. Uh, on the front, we have two SPS slots. And critically, we have a super speed USB 3.0 slot. This allows us to copy files to and from an, externally, uh, an external USB drive. We can also uh, thumbnail the drive, play clips from the drive. The drive behaves more or less the way another uh, SPS card would. Very small form factor, half rack, uh, reasonably priced. Uh, excellent machine for production studio, truck, uh, pretty much any environment where they need uh, a combination file recorder and uh, VTR with traditional RS-422 control. Finally, one thing worth mentioning, there is of course a network port on the back because it's an XDCAM device and that allows us to do a network share over SIFs or we can FTP to and from the machine. Uh, next up is the PMW RX50. This is our portable XAVC uh, HD recorder. This supports XAVC recording, uh, XDCAM, all the legacy formats. Also has a USB 3 port, uh, so we can connect a USB 3 drive and, <clears throat> pardon me, and we can thumbnail the clips off the uh, disc. We can play back from the disc or from the drive. We can copy from the drive to or from either SPS card. We can assign the copy and USB functions to assignable buttons. So we have, for example, a one-click uh, backup, uh, which is an extremely powerful feature in the field. Additionally, uh, as an upgrade from the previous model, we added an XLR module, which allows you to get balanced uh, uh, XLR audio inputs, line or mic switchable into the uh, RX50. So we're very excited about this deck and uh, based on, especially based on the sec success of its predecessor and uh, we're expecting great things from it. Uh, that pretty much concludes the XAVC in-house workflow booth. Uh, I think, uh, I, I hope you've been able to see a little bit what, of what we can do as far as an end-to-end -end workflow, uh, including uh, what we can do with the proxies from our, our uh, new wireless products. We of course can't have an end-to-end -end workflow without decks and playout devices, so that's something we're always uh, we're always hard at work on. Uh, you can learn uh, a whole lot more about all of these and get in touch with us at sony.com forward slash XDCAM. Thanks so much.